Between 240 and 230 million years ago, a giant asteroid crashed onto Earth, eradicating the dinosaurs and ending their global reign. This event caused the dinosaurs to become extinct. The dinosaurs went through a period of evolution during which they grew from a group of animals that were generally the size of horses and dogs to become the largest terrestrial animals that have ever lived. Over time, certain meat-eating dinosaurs shrunk and eventually evolved into birds. In this perspective, the only dinosaurs that became extinct were not birds. Unless otherwise specified, dinosaurs will refer to extinct forms of life unrelated to birds for the duration. The globe underwent massive transformations throughout the roughly 174 million years when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Dinosaurs initially arose during the Triassic period, which lasted from 251.9 million to 201.3 million years ago. At that time, they were seen roaming the supercontinent Pangaea. However, by the time the asteroid struck towards the end of the Cretaceous period, 145 million to 66 million years ago, the continents had moved to a position that was about equivalent to where they are now. What is a dinosaur? The Herrerasaurus, Euraptor, and Eodromaeus fossils found in Ishigalasto Provincial Park in northwest Argentina are the oldest fossils of dinosaurs that are sure to be from about 231 million years ago. Scientists are still arguing about whether Nasosaurus, a genus found in Tanzania and dating back about 240 million years, is also an early dinosaur or a dinosauromorph. Some archosaurs, like dinosauromorphs, became upright over time. This means that their legs moved under their bodies instead of out to the sides. Cold-blooded animals that do not need to move very quickly can spread out as much as they want. However, tucking your arms and legs under your body opens up a whole new world. Archosaurs change over time. Dinosauromorphs got long tails, big leg muscles, and extra hip bones that helped them move quickly and efficiently. This group contains dinosaurs and their close relatives. Scientists are still arguing about whether Nasosaurus is an early dinosaur or a dinosauromorph. When they first appeared, the dinosaurs differed from other animal groups because of how they were built. Dinosaurs are archosaurs, parasaurs, dinosaurs, and birds. All of these animals share a common ancestor. After the end Permian disappeared, the archosaurs appeared about 252 million years ago. Some dinosauromorphs evolved into dinosaurs. Even though the differences are minor, the dinosaurs' bodies were better because they had arms that could move in and out, neck vertebrae that could support stronger muscles, and a joint where the thigh bone meets the pelvis. Dinosaurs were successful because of their unique bodies. When dinosaurs stood up, their hands were free. This made it possible for dinosaurs like iguanodons to grab onto branches, and carnivorous dinosaurs claw and kill their prey. In the end, having free arms allowed birds to glide and then fly. Also, research on how fast dinosaurs grew shows that they probably had warm blood. Some archosaurs, like dinosauromorphs, became upright over time. This means that their legs moved under their bodies instead of out to the sides. Cold-blooded animals that do not need to move very quickly can spread out as much as they want. However, tucking your arms and legs under your body opens up a whole new world. Archosaurs changed over time. Dinosauromorphs got long tails, big leg muscles, and extra hip bones that help them move quickly and efficiently. When you become a warm-blooded animal, you can work 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. You can be active when the weather is good or bad. Dinosaurs were not as different as the crocodile-like archosaurs that lived with them. In fact, dinosaurs did not do too well at first. Crocodiles ruled the Triassic, but after the end Triassic extinction, dinosaurs survived and took over. The clade Dinosauria, whose name comes from the Greek word for terrible lizard, was named by the English paleontologist Richard Owen in 1842. The first known species in the clade were the meat-eating theropod Megalosaurus, the long-necked sauropod morph Cygiosaurus, and the ornithischian Iguanodon. Each of these dinosaurs comes from one of the three main groups of dinosaurs. When did they live? The Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous periods belong to the Mesozoic era. During the Triassic period, when the climate was harsh and dry, dinosaurs evolved from small dinosauromorphs. They had tens of millions of years of competition from the crocline archosaurs, but they won out when Pangaea started to break up. During this time, volcanoes erupted along the supercontinent's breaks, leading to global warming and mass extinction. During the Jurassic period between 201, 3 million, and 145 million years ago, dinosaurs became the most common animals and some got very big. The Wivria damparasensis, for example, was the first titanosaur and lived 160 million years ago. It was more than 50 feet, 15 meters, long and weighed about 33,000 pounds, 15,000 kilograms. Iconic dinosaurs from this period contained Brontosaurus, Brachiosaurus, Diplodocus, and Stegosaurus. 
During the Jurassic, flowering plants started to change and the first birds, such as Archaeopteryx, appeared. At the end of the Jurassic, there was a small extinction that we still do not know much about. During the Cretaceous period, dinosaurs still ruled when the continents moved farther apart. During this time, dinosaurs like T. rex, Triceratops, Spinosaurus, and Velociraptor lived. The Cretaceous is when enormous dinosaurs ever found, like Argentinosaurus, lived. The Cretaceous period finished with the Cretaceous Tertiary KPG extinction event, which happened when an asteroid 6 miles, 10 kilometers wide hit Earth and left an impact crater more than 110 miles, 180 kilometers across the Yucatan Peninsula of what is now Mexico. The impact site, called the Chicxulub Crater, has shocked quartz and tectites, which are small glass-like spheres that form when rock is quickly vaporized and cooled. These are geological signs that a space rock hit there with much force. Chemical tests on the sedimentary rocks at Chicxulub show that they melted and mixed together at temperatures about the same as when an asteroid hit the Earth about 66 million years ago. Can dinosaurs be brought back? In the famous Jurassic Park movie series, scientists find dinosaur DNA in an old mosquito caught in amber. They then use frog DNA to fill in the gaps in the dinosaur DNA. The story is fun, but the science is far from correct. For example, amber does not keep DNA very well and frogs are unrelated to dinosaurs. They are not archosaurs and a study found that frog evolution sped up after the asteroid hit. There are many reasons why it is impossible to bring dinosaurs back to life. Scientists have found proteins and blood vessels from dinosaurs, but they have yet to get a good look at the DNA of a dinosaur. When an organism dies, its DNA breaks down, but parts can be kept if the right conditions are met. Still, the oldest DNA sequence is from a mammoth about 1 million years old and dinosaurs died out about 66 million years ago. Some scientists are trying to figure out how to turn birds into dinosaurs. They are especially interested in making a dino chicken, which would have a longer tail, teeth, arms, and fingers. One group even gave chicken embryos dinosaur-like snouts. However, the chickenosaurus would not be a copy of an old dinosaur. Instead, it would be a bird that looks like a dinosaur. People and dinosaurs, did they live together? No, people did not show up on Earth for about 65 million years after the dinosaurs died out. Nevertheless, small mammals like primates about the size of shrews lived during the time of the dinosaurs. Some scientists who study dinosaurs, vertebrate paleontologists, now think that birds are direct descendants of one line of carnivorous dinosaurs, and some think that they are actually living dinosaurs. This idea is still being discussed, which shows how much we still need to learn about dinosaurs. Did all the dinosaurs live at the same time and together? Dinosaur groups lived in different places and at different times. The age of dinosaurs comprised three geologic periods that came after each other, the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous periods. During each of these three times, different kinds of dinosaurs lived. For instance, the Jurassic dinosaur Stegosaurus had died out about 80 million years before the Cretaceous dinosaur Tyrannosaurus appeared. The time between Stegosaurus and you was more extended than between Stegosaurus and Tyrannosaurus. During the Triassic period, when dinosaurs first appeared, there was only one supercontinent on Earth called Pangea. They had many different kinds of dinosaurs. However, when Pangea broke up, dinosaurs were spread across the world on different continents, and new dinosaurs developed in each place. So that's all for today's video. If you like this video, click the like and the bell buttons. We'll have another video for you soon. Take care until then.